Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, January 23, 2024. May the Lord continue to watch over you and keep you. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms 3, reading verses 1 to 8. And it says, Lord, how are they increase that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2, Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in God. Selah. Verse 3, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, My glory and the lifter up of mine head. Verse 4, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, And he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. Verse 5. I lay me down and slept. I awake, for the Lord sustained me. 6. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. 7. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheek bone thou has broken the teeth of the ungodly eight and last says salvation belongeth unto the lord thy blessing is upon thy people sila amen as we think about the reading this morning and the message that it gives to us we live in a world where we are a part of this great controversy and we know that the devil has his agents everywhere. And I know sometimes, you know, we are faced with situations that cause us to question, why me? Why am I experiencing this? Why am I going through this? Why is it that all this is happening to me? Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where persons ate us without a cause persons set themselves against us they bully us they they persecute us in different ways they are aggressive towards us and so we are bombarded left right and center with different adversaries but i just want to encourage somebody this morning that it doesn't matter how many have set themselves against you the Bible says there are much more with you th than those that are against you. And so we know that we have a God that is able to deliver us from our troubles, to deliver us from our enemies, to rescue us from our pain. And so he is our shield. And so we need to lift our heads high and walk with confidence in God, knowing that He will take care of us. No arm can come to us unless God allow it. And if God allow something to happen, it means that He has a plan. Remember Job? You remember what Job went through? Satan had to ask God for permission to put Job through what he put Job through. And so sometimes we are going to experience discomfort in this life. We will have people that are against us. We will have people that don't like us. We will go through different troubles, different trials, you know. That's the kind of world we live in. But God promised to sustain us. God promised to protect us. God promised to watch over us. And that is why we must put ourselves daily in his hands so that he can do what he does best. And that is take care of his children. And so it doesn't matter what you're going through. You may be having trouble at work with your, your colleagues, with your employers, with your employees, whatever the situation is. You may be having issues with people within your circle even within the church whatever 
circumstances you may find yourself it doesn't matter what it is whatever storm you are facing just hold on to god don't jump ship stand firm look to god depend on him because he will see you through so i pray that you will be encouraged this morning i pray that you will remember the word of the lord today because god is greater than our enemies god is greater than our trials and our pain and he will deal with things in a fair manner and when it suits him so stand firm push forward and stay faithful god bless you and have a wonderful day amen <music>